Yeah, you, you know, the interesting thing for us, when we look at the workplace, and, and, and people spend most of their time dealing with poor performers. And if, if I'm a, a leader, I'm going to be coaching the people that are not performing very well. Whereas the high performing individuals, most of the time, what people say is just keep it up, keep doing the same thing, you're doing great, and they get very little coaching. Our modeling, what we try to help people understand is that those high performers should be the individuals that get most of the coaching and explain why, because those are the people that you want to retain and if we want to keep building their skills. And one of the things that we've been doing with some of those individuals within organizations is they've been taking a combination of some clients use the EQI 360 or the leadership assessment. And when we utilize that with those individuals, they become very reflective and they start to understand where their gaps are and the things that they can work on. And what ends up happening is they put a plan together that is shared with their leaders. And as they work together on those plans, we have really seen a lot of growth with the high potential individuals because they have looked at, here's what I can leverage, not just what I need to work on, but here are the sub skills and competencies that I can leverage as well as close some of the gaps that exist. And it's been very good for us because there have been times where people thought people had skills where they really didn't, where they thought that they were very good at making decisions. But when you kind of take a step back and look at everything, the individuals were not being independent in making their decisions. They were always deferring to their leader. And this has forced them to be able to have them make some of those decisions on their own without being able to fall back to the leader.